Hi, this is Dr. Arun Vishnath and today in this short lecture, I will be talking about short bowel syndrome. Now, what is this short bowel syndrome? As the name suggests, bowel length is shortened either because of any disease or surgically. There are various disorders like extensive Crohn's disease, extensive ulcerative colitis, severe mesenteric ischemia, uh, huge volvulus, traumatic injury to intestine. These all conditions can cause short bowel syndrome, that is bowel is destroyed. If surgical resection of bowel is done, again that can lead to short bowel syndrome. As you know, the parts of intestine, they are duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The main part is jejunum, where the villi and crypts both are large. Villi are large, crypts are deep. So main absorption of nutrients, main absorption of nutrients take place in jejunum. The positive water balance, positive sodium balance, positive potassium balance, this is maintained by jejunum. And at least the 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters of jejunum is required for all these functions. Distal part, that is ileum. Ileum is responsible for bile acid absorption. It is responsible for absorption of vitamin B12. So if ileal part is removed, then in that case, bile salt metabolism will suffer absorption of vitamin B12 will suffer and patient will develop deficiency of vitamin B12 and because of disorder of biliary metabolism gallstone formation will take place in the gallbladder so incidence of gallstone formation will increase the usual size of bowel is about 12 to 22 feet it varies from 12 to 22 feet. It is usually seen if that if greater than 100 centimeters of bowel is removed, then in that case, patient will develop deficiency syndromes, malabsorption syndrome, and that has to be controlled with total parenteral nutrition. Usually, when intestine is removed, suppose if jejunum is removed or ileum is removed, then in that case, dressed part of the intestine which is present inside, part is removed or a part which is diseased is damaged. So the rest of the part which is normal will adapt to the functions of the removed part or the destroyed part. So it will take some time. So if 100 centimeters of intestine say if it is removed, then usually it takes six to seven months for adaptation. And during that period, we will have to give total parenteral nutrition. If greater part of intestine is removed, say more than 100 centimeters of intestine is removed, say 200 centimeters of intestine is removed, then in that case, sometimes you will have to give total parenteral nutrition for a long time, for a month, for, for sorry, for a year, or for a year and a half, you will have to give total parenteral nutrition. You will have to give loperamide like drugs to reduce motility of bowel because these patients usually they develop recurrent diarrhea. They may develop continuous diarrhea, recurrent diarrhea. So you will have to control symptoms of diarrhea. They may be dehydrated. So you will have to control the dehydration by parenteral therapy. So this short bowel syndrome is manageable clinically. It can be managed clinically in a proper way, but sometimes it cannot be managed clinically. So in that case, you will have to do surgical intervention. Now there are various techniques, surgical techniques with the help of which this uh, short bowel syndrome can be corrected. There are various techniques so i will not go in details of those techniques but with the help of those techniques the short bowel syndrome can be controlled 
malabsorption syndrome can be controlled. So this is all about short bowel syndrome and this will this particular lecture may be helpful to physicians to gastroenterologists in their clinical practice this may be helpful for medical students who are appearing in exams in competitive exams for their knowledge the medical students can listen to my lectures they will these lectures will help them a lot thank you